Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Lenovo Legion Slim 5. Now, this is an Intel powered laptop packing a lot of power and performance. And we're gonna be checking it out in this video. And we wanna give a big shout out to Lenovo and Intel for sponsoring this video and sending over the Slim 5 for us to check out. So what is the Slim line and what does it bring to the table? It's a more portable, slimmer, aesthetically looking gaming laptop from Lenovo. And I do like the design here. It is very non-flashy. I, I like just the flat, simple color here. Uh, you have the Legion logo on the top as well as Lenovo. The design of this laptop does have a front lip, allowing you to open it with one finger and also open it all the way to 180 degrees, which is cool. Now you've got a 16 inch display. This is an IPS panel, resolution is 2560 by 1600, anti-glare. Uh, this is also non-touch, 350 nits, but as gamers, it's got 165 hertz refresh rate, which is what we like, and that's what we wanna see here. Now under the hood, this is powered by the 13th gen Intel Core i7 13700H. This is a great processor with E cores and as well as performance cores, giving you the balance of both work and play that we're gonna see here fully in this laptop. Plus it also has an RTX 4060, 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. I do like the memory flexibility with support of DDR5 and DDR4 on this laptop, which is great, as well as also the fastest data transfer rate of up to 40 gigabits per second with Thunderbolt 4, which means you could play or move large game files at blazing fast speeds as just similar to your internal SSD. You also have super fast Wi-Fi connectivity up to three times faster with Wi-Fi 6E, uh, making sure that you can download, play your games at fastest internet connection possible to you. Plus the overclocking max performance is possible uh, with enhanced memory overclocking and P and E core overclocking as well. That's pretty cool. Plus you've got a nice flush keyboard in here with uh, full num lock keys, so you've got those side keys as well, but it doesn't feel big or spread out. It feels very comfortable to use. I do like this keyboard pretty well, and also a really good trackpad to use across the board. Now, in terms of ports, you've got a lot of ports on this device. On the right side, you do have an SD card slot here, as well as also a privacy, physical privacy lock for your camera. And then on the left-hand side, you do have two USB Type-C ports with PD charging. And at the rear, we've got a full Ethernet port, HDMI, two USB, oh, as well as also the power, power plug. Now, this thing runs off a 230-watt uh, battery. Uh, and this supplies the kind of performance we need. So what does that mean to game on this Intel powered laptop from Lenovo with the Slim 5? Well, we took a look at a couple of games. Now, the first one, of course, was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's something everybody loves to test on. We ran the benchmark tools, we're getting about 110 frames per second for the highest setting. And then we went, when we went ahead and played the game, we're getting a steady frame rate of about 129 frames per second. That was pretty cool to see. I like that and really, really good performance here. Now the next game of course is Red Dead Redemption. This is a great game with a lot of aesthetics. We're still playing the snow stage. And as you can clearly see, it's doing a solid 66 frames per second all the way through. No drops, no hitches. And I wasn't actually, and you could hear the fan, but it wasn't as loud. And we'll get to the audio in a second here. And then we move over to Warzone. On Warzone Call of Duty, we're getting a solid 80 frames per second. You can see gameplay was really solid with this. And I did like the fact that every single game that we touched and you're gonna see here, performance was just solid all around. I think a lot of people will enjoy that here with the Slim 5. And then finally, uh, Doom Eternal. Now Doom Eternal, as you would expect, this is a game that runs fast. Uh, it's high performance, and this system didn't slow down in any form or fashion. Doing about 150 to 170 frames per second, was solid frame, uh, frames per second on this device. Performance was great, and I really enjoyed gaming on here. Now, this is a device that I think a lot of gamers would appreciate because it's also really customizable. It's easy to go ahead and unscrew it open up the back and uh, revealing the fact that you can add an extra drive to it. So there's an extra M.2 slot. 
as well as also replacing uh, the uh, memory on here, expanding that memory with the two DIMM slots that are available. So you've got expandability on this laptop and you've also got great connectivity with Wi-Fi 6E on here, So which means your gaming sessions will not be cut out and you'll be able to enjoy the games the way you want to on this device. Now we do have a 1080p webcam, which is decent and does a decent enough job. And when it comes to battery life, we're looking at roughly around seven to eight hours of battery life here when just doing regular tasks. And of course, while you're gaming, you will be plugged in. So on the go, this is actually a pretty good device to use, especially if you're switching between gaming and then also doing some work or just sending out some emails, it makes a lot of sense. Now, when it comes to heat and temperatures, you've got vents on the side as well as also the rear of this device. So allowing you to actually disperse as much air as possible uh, so your device doesn't run hot. And I felt like this device ran uh, fairly warm just all the way through, but also temperatures didn't actually spike up in any way. Now, what about audio? What about the audio experience on here and how do the games sound while playing? So let's take a listen. Now, while the audio is good, I would say that that's probably my only downside with this laptop. It's not as loud as I would like to see, and it's not as crisp, but it's still good enough, especially in the pinch while you're gaming. Honestly, when using a gaming laptop, especially when you want to crank it up, you, I would suggest using, of course, headphones. Lenovo has some really great headphones that you can actually use, some great gaming headphones that will pair well with this laptop. Now, that being said though, they do have some software tools that actually help you with your gaming experience. There is the Legion Arena, which of course houses all your games, allowing you to access the games directly uh, from one single location. And then you also have uh, the Legion Vantage. Now, this is where you can customize this laptop to maximize as much as possible. You can watch your CPU, your VRAM, your storage. You can also balance your thermals from balance mode to high performance, depending on what you're doing. You can also overclock your GPU as well, network boost, as well as also um, overdrive your system. So you've got something that you can play around with and maximize this laptop to its best potential. And I really like that it's there because there's a lot of just customization there. Now you've also got a, an RGB keyboard. This is the Lenovo Spectrum, which you can easily change from your keyboard here by just using the space bar, uh, but also you can customize it with the software too. So, a lot of tools here that make this a really fun laptop to pick up. And with that starting price at uh, $1,234, I think this is a great gaming laptop to pick up, especially when you want to do, and I think that the Legion Slim 5 really hits the mark for what people are looking for. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.